Hi there. Today we're talking about adding a new site onto your existing account. Let's say you already have a website on WordPress.com and you're enjoying it and you'd like to add a new site where you can manage two different websites all from one account. Well, with WordPress.com, you can do that. Over here on the left, we'll click on add new site to begin adding a new site. Where it says my site is called, let's give it a title. And we'll click on continue. Uh, and here WordPress.com is suggesting a few different domain options for us. Up here we could search for a different title if we'd like, or we can click on a few of these different suggestions if we want to choose a particular domain for our site. You'll notice over here on the right, one year of free domain registration is included with each annual plan purchase. So I could choose any of these, and the grayed out text here is what it would renew for in a year's time. There's also additional options if you want to transfer in a domain from perhaps another domain registrar uh, or map a domain. And for more information on those, there'll be a link below in the rest of the support documentation. For now, though, we'll choose the free option. So I'll click on this WordPress.com subdomain. And don't worry, I can always choose a custom domain like one of these later. Next, I'll click on continue. And here, WordPress.com is suggesting a few different themes. I'm going to scroll through and take a look at a few of them. I like the Alves theme, so I'm going to click on that one to use. Next, it's suggesting a few different font choices. I like this one, so I'll start here. You'll notice I can also view this site in tablet mode or in mobile. And I'm going to click on continue to go to the next step. Now WordPress is asking what kind of features I'll need for my site. Let's say perhaps I want to sign up for a custom domain later on. I want to store some pictures. And maybe I want to install some plugins from other companies. Next, I'll click on Continue. And here, WordPress suggests a business plan for me. Uh, but perhaps I want to take a look and you know just review what I'm getting with the business plan. If I scroll down, I can see a detailed comparison of all the different plans available and the features they have. For now, I'm gonna choose the free plan. So I'll click on select. Now WordPress.com is building my site and this will drop me right into editing my homepage. Here I can start editing my homepage and importantly, I can edit both of these sites from one dashboard. So by clicking on the W in the top left, I can then click on dashboard and you'll notice now it says my sites plural instead of my site singular. And here I can click on switch site and I can choose my pizza review blog or my new charity fund site to work on. <laughs>